Welcome back to CP24 Live at Noon. Some testy exchanges as former Ottawa Police Chief Peter Slowly continues his testimony at the public inquiry investigating Ottawa's use of the Emergencies Act. The trust factor had taken a hit, but that I had not lost confidence in my two deputies. If I had lost confidence in my two deputies, I would have taken a much more firm and direct course of action. Okay, and so you lost uh, trust, and that must have been very hard. I lost hard. some level of trust, sir, thank you. And that must have been very hard for you. I think that's hard for anybody, sir. Okay, for more on this story, we're joined live now by Chris Lewis, CTV public safety analyst and former OPP commissioner. Chris, thanks for joining us this afternoon. So My Peter pleasure. Slowly is on the stand or, or doing his testimony for a second day now. And from what we've heard, it sounds like chaos and confusion within the Ottawa Police Department. In your opinion, what do you think caused all this confusion? Well, if you listen to the vast, vast majority of uh, the Ottawa police senior staffs, uh, deputy chiefs and superintendents and inspectors that have testified, they really do point a finger at the chief of the day, Peter Slowly. Um, in any situation like that, there's going to be some confusion, some miscommunication. Uh, you know, some people hear things differently than others. That's understandable, but the level of it in this case, including partner agencies, inspectors and superintendents and chief superintendents from the OPP, are all pointing a finger at Chief Slowly. And yeah, the ball got dropped. I'm sure everybody made mistakes, as we, including me, always did in big operations. Uh, but you get past them as a team and you help one another and support one another. But it seemed to be two teams there, Chief Slowly being one and everyone else a, a separate team altogether. They didn't seem to be joined at all in, in terms of strategies and, and messaging and a whole pile of other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there certainly appears to be some dysfunction among the ranks, even with slowly saying that he lost trust in his deputy chiefs. But I also want to get to this idea that OPS, uh, they didn't particularly know what they were dealing with in terms of their protocol, in terms of stopping a protest, allowing a protest. Obviously, this was an unprecedented situation. It was. I mean, all protests that are, have new strategies like this one involve trucks for the first time ever, a whole pile of trucks, 500. Uh, so that makes it unprecedented. But in terms of violence and, and uh, footprint and the number of people involved, it was not unprecedented at all for Ottawa. They get 25,000 a day during uh, Canada Day. So uh, you know, I, I disagree with that whole unprecedented concept, like this is something the world had never seen, mm. except for the truck piece. But at the same time, the decision to do what you can do and what you can't do is either dictated by law or by policy, and the chief controls the policy. And if there's variances to that policy, then deputies and others will tell the chief, hey, we had to do X or Y because of A, B, and C. Uh, and sometimes policy doesn't fit, so you go, you fly with something else and see what, what best works in terms of public safety. But there's no set in stone, you have to do X or you have to do Y. That's very fluid depending on the situation that changes, the environment, which could change at the drop of a hat. So once again, that falls back to, falls back to Ottawa Police and it falls to the chief in terms of responsibility. Mm -hmm. So it sounds to me, Chris, that you are placing a responsibility on former Ottawa Police Chief Peter Slowly in terms of how things fell apart. He seems to be the one that should have been in command. But there's another element where politics plays into this. And this is what Premier Doug Ford has been saying is that, hey, this is a policing matter. This is a federal matter. Uh, do you agree with his stand that he, he doesn't need to testify? I don't really think he needs to legally. Uh, the, the head of the OPPs testified, senior OPP officers have. They were in charge of the policing piece. The premier doesn't control that. They would keep him advised. He'd have a need to know certain things, you know, just to be sure that are we doing our best to help. But in this case, having said that, if the premier doesn't testify, I think it looks bad. It looks like there's something to hide, but I don't think there is, given the level of, of senior police officers that have been testifying from the province. So, you know, I, I think in, in the interest of kind of looking open and transparent, it, you know, I'm not a politician, and I'm not, I can't tell one what to do, or right? things that have been different throughout my career as commissioner, but, but at the same time, why not do it and get it out of the way as opposed to leave this kind of what, what the hiding type of thing out there? Because I don't think there's anything to hide. I really don't. All right. Optics are important, especially uh, in a situation like this. All right. Chris Lewis, CTV public safety analyst and former OPP commissioner. Always appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Have a good day. You too.